Hello. Well, uh, I'm going to try to yeah, make this short since it's sort of an update of sorts. Um, <clears throat> and also, I do feel a bit better since last week, so hopefully I won't have a coughing fit. Uh, and also, I don't plan on talking for too long about uh, all this. Uh, since again, it's an update video. Um, as you all know, I enjoy the uh, films um, from the Criterion Collection. So you can see, well, kind of, there's one, there's two others. There's one up there. Um, here's another uh, Criterion uh, DVD. And I have some right there. Um, I have some various places, you know, usually with certain um, filmmakers like Christopher Nolan following is there, <clears throat> actors and actresses, Gary Oldman, Ewan McGregor is up there with Shallow Grave, and Ruling Class with Peter Too I just have a whole bunch um, of films um, oriented in a way I like. Uh, nothing is completely definite because I do move things around here and there. Um, <clears throat> though I do like the idea of having uh, uh, certain films and um, to be part of certain like actors, actresses that I particularly like. I'll have like a certain section for them. And, though I think of uh, <clears throat> a film as like a direct certain director, then. And have an actor, actress that I love, and I would have a section for them. But I put them, put I'll put that in the director's section since it's it's their movie, it's the director's film. Though uh, when it comes to say a franchise or a series of sorts, and it has to do like say Batman, uh, you know the Dark Knight trilogy. Well, I'll put that in like in a Batman section where. I have like top ten films over on a shelf. I like with Star Wars, and I have some George Lucas stuff though. Uh, I I put like films he's also produced and wrote, since he hasn't directed too many movies. So I'll kind of lump those in there, like with Indiana Jones. Technically, that would be for Spielberg, but he he did create the character of Indiana Jones. He was very instrumental in the making of those films, as much as Spielberg. So, I just put put those with Lucas. Um, everyone's different, though. Obviously, I know that. Which uh, brings me to uh, my videos or my videos, uh, my my these movies I have, um, which are um, video drone. And the Thin Red Line. Uh, glare off. There you go. Yeah, the Thin Red Line. Um, now, these movies are films I've wanted for quite some time in the Criterion Collection. Uh, particularly this film. This was a movie I've wanted for uh, quite some time. Uh, ever since I really got into the Criterion Collection. Uh, back in 2013, really, uh, got uh, it's a mad 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 world uh, I love that film one of my favorite films one of my favorite comedies ever um, and from there I just I don't know I really took notice to films with the the C this little C in the corner and later there were like I found more with DVDs didn't have it but it had like a little line so criterion collection and ever since I've just noticed many movies I either enjoy or I have always been curious about have ended up in the criterion collection so over the course of many years since 2013 I or 14 whenever that movie came out I can't recall now I want to say 13 but actually now I'm thinking about it could have been 2014 so if anything this was my I guess the fifth year of uh, collecting Criterion films. It's sort of an anniversary of sorts, I guess, um, now that I think about it. Um, but I think it is 14. Yeah. I, now that I think about it, but I don't know. I don't know why, but 
just, just I don't know, seems like 2013 for whatever reasons. Uh, well, probably because that was like the 50th anniversary of that film. I believe, yeah. I think so. 63? Sounds about right. Right around that time. I don't know. Some movies... I, I haven't watched that movie in a while, but that, that, this is about... Really about... It's a mad, 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 mad world, but... I apologize. This is probably a horrible update video. Because, um... Yeah, video drum. I have not watched this yet. Uh, I got this just at the end of last week thought of watching it this weekend um uh, by the time you'll see it it's uh friday the 13th so actually appropriate because this is a horror film but yeah i got this last thursday didn't have a chance at all to watch this or this past weekend unfortunately um because uh, things get busy sometimes uh, during the week, and when you think you have a weekend free, things happen and you have no free weekend. Or weekend that you might have had free, you just didn't have time to do something you wanted to do. Like, uh, like for me, you want to watch this. Or this. I probably would have watched, I'd probably watch this first, honestly. Then again, by the time you watch this video, I might have already watched these movies, so uh, everything I've just set up to that this point it would be completely, I guess, uh, a waste of breath, honestly, saying and throughout this whole thing, not seen this movie. Meanwhile, in the comments, why, I've actually seen these movies now, or I've seen this at least. But I've wanted to watch this for a long time. Uh, it's about a, he's like a, James Woods plays a sleazy uh, cable. Uh, you know, looks for new shows or a sleazy cable station. You know, <clears throat> runs a TV station, and um, uh, I love James Woods. I love him as an actor. Um, I know some aren't the biggest fans of him as of late because of his political views. I don't really care about one's political views, regardless if I agree with him or not. Even if I do agree with James Woods on certain things, I'm sure there are things he's tweeted about that I don't agree with. Then again, I haven't seen every single tweet he's ever tweeted out, so... Though he has stopped tweeting since or this year, because uh, of reasons, various reasons I'm not going to get into, because, again, political. But whatever your thoughts of him uh, politically... You can't deny he's an incredible actor. It's one of those things. Agree with an actor or an actress or a filmmaker, politically or not, that should never enter the qu equation. I know sometimes certain people, because of how politically active they are, sometimes their work, their political work, can com can overshadow the, uh, their movies and TV show stuff. Um, so. For me, that's not a problem with James Woods. I've always enjoyed him as an actor. He's incredible. And no doubt he'll be incredible in this film. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of David Cronenberg films. I've seen some. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, I believe he did The Fly with Jeff Goldblum. I've seen that. Um, I believe he did that film. I've seen Scanners. So yeah, it's it's you know I I I've enjoyed the works of his I have seen I've just named a couple because um, I believe yeah he did do the fly I think I was I mistaken that was someone else maybe for me just if it wasn't David Cronenberg I, I would have thought you know that just sounds like it looks like something he would have <coughs> made and then the thin red line. Um, Terrence Malick has a huge all-star cast. Um, Sean Penn, Adrian Brody, Jim Caviezel, Ben Chaplin, George Clooney, John Cusack, Woody Harrelson, Elias Coteas, Nick Nolte, John C. Riley. <coughs> um, <coughs> the Battle of 
world or all come out. Blah. I know I butchered that. Uh, I know what it's called, but uh, again, when I make these, are fairly late at night. A bit tired, but I don't know why. I seem a bit more focused, if that makes sense. And yet, sometimes certain things I want to say <coughs> do not come out. Do not come out right. I, at least I should say so. But yeah, I've seen parts of this film. I've never seen the whole thing. It's almost three hours, so what I remember seeing, <coughs> I I liked, it is like a, <coughs> a very good film. So there, so I'm too bit I'm in the way. Uh, let's go and do that again. There. So yeah, a little Criterion collection update. Last month's sale, Barnes and Noble, fifty percent off. Um, I believe this was actually normally something in the thirties, like thirty-five dollars, I think. When I saw it on the sale. I don't always get a whole bunch of <coughs> films. The Criterion Collection, uh, whenever Barnes & Noble has one, I know I'll be able to get like a couple movies. Sometimes I've gotten three. Uh, rarely I get four, but I, don't know, I, I always make sure to have at least get two whenever there's a sale because... <coughs> well, good thing I'm keeping this as short as possible. Um, but I get two to sort of have like a double feature if I want. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that with these films, but uh, whenever I'm able to watch these movies, like sometime at night, if it's not back to back, it'll probably be like one night, and then the next time I'll watch the other. I'll probably watch Videodrome, just because it's a movie for a long time I've wanted to get. Finally have it. And what I like about this is. A Betamax. For anybody who has never uh, seen a, what a sort of like a custom, interesting cover looks like for something like this, where this uh, differs from the packaging here. There you go. Well, again, that's all I really have to say. Um, have you seen these movies? Uh, do you want to see these movies? Uh, do you like them if you have? Or do you not? Or maybe you like one but not the other? Why is that? There is a reason you like to share. And, uh, you can interact with me in the comments of this video. Or if you find found this somewhere on social media like Facebook or Twitter or wherever, you may all, uh, <clears throat> where you can have a, a bit of a discussion if you like, or you don't have to. It's completely up to you. Um, again, uh, I'm getting over this cold, or whatever I have. <clears throat> I know it might not sound like it, but I really am. Uh, uh, it is getting better. Um, my voice isn't as uh, deep, so... There you go. Um, I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend and have a great week. I'll see you all next time. Bye.